Welcome guys to another new video of Noah's Art Campsite. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to see every content that we create. In this video, we are going to build a sheep house. Yes, the wood has finally arrived, so now we can finally start building the sheep house over there. But first, I have to treat the poles that go into the ground with the used oil and diesel once again. Um, so let's get started with that coat. Put the poles in the ground, pour the concrete in it, let it sit for a bit, and then we can start doing the rest of it. Let's go. So I was working downstairs over there on the sheep house and I was hearing a crazy sound from the chicken so I was like what's going on over there I'm going to have a look and I opened the window da -da -da -da. come follow me <laughs> and I looked through the window in here and what do I see da -da 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 -da. our first egg <laughs> wow chickens oh yeah we did it amazing all right so back from the chicken to the sheep house what i'm doing here is i'm making some concrete the first pull is already in this one i'm doing right now uh, it's going to be one meter fifty so approximately this high should be high enough for the sheep uh, and it's high enough for us to enter it's going to be two meters by four meters so eight square meters so today I'm going to make the poles into the ground and then it has to dry for an entire day. So uh, yeah, let's put the rest of the poles. All right, so far I've got almost all the poles in place. Only one is left. And it will be placed right there. And then in the middle we will have the door. And yeah, that's how it's going to shape. What are you doing, Joop? I'm stopping the, the bell peppers. What is stopping? Well, you take the middle piece out on top of the plant. That's why it's called topping. And in that way, normally, the plant grows. And you have one main stem, right? It grows straight and everything is attached to the main stem. But when you top it, it's going to split. You have multiple big trenches eventually. So you will have more fruits. I learned this from weed. <laughs> so I know Lisa said, let's stop the bell peppers. I said, oh yeah, I know how to, how to do that. <laughs> Actually, they are already a little bit too big, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> So what you do is you go here. Wait. You see, you have these bigger leaves and then you have a very small here in the middle, you see? And that's just what you take off. Up like a, that's it. guys so as you can see like the poles are all in the ground it has dried up and this morning I already started with the upper uh, timber locks so yeah I'm going to do this all around and then when that is done I'll probably move here because here will be the door right in the middle and then I will go and do the layering on the outside and at the last part we go to the roof so let's go
playtime. And in between the work, we have some cuddle time with Bowie Aww. and so playtime. He is very sweet. Alright guys, so as you can see, the sheep house is moving along quite well. Uh, today I went to the shop to buy the roof plates. Unfortunately, that shop was closed, so I have to do that tomorrow. Uh, so in the meantime, we are going to do some more gardening. We are doing now, we have a lot of bell peppers in the greenhouse and we are planting them in the earth. It looks like this, we made the holes already. We took them out of the greenhouse, a few of them already. And now we are putting them in the ground with a bamboo stick. How is it going Lise? Good, good. We are doing the bamboo stick and the round for the water. We're putting them next to the tomatoes with some basilicum because that are good neighbors from each other. And uh, yeah, let's go planting. As you can see, everything in the greenhouse is doing really good. The salad's growing very fast, the rucola, the tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes. This whole line are bell peppers, different colors, Italian peppers. The sprouting goes also very well. So in the upcoming days, these can go here where the peppers are now. And then that way we get the system running, right? We give the, the weak plants one to two weeks in the greenhouse, then they go in the full ground. And eventually our garden of Eden will grow and grow and grow until it's completely filled up with beautiful vegetables. So we have a lot of vegetables ourselves and need less from the shop. Because that's the goal, right? Let's do it. So as a finalizer, we are going to put some hay on it to keep the water in and protect them from the heat. So while Lisa is putting the hay around the bell peppers, I'm going to put in these little sticks uh, at every vegetable that we have. Uh, Lisa made them like, for example, here we have potatoes. And like this, we have a stick for every vegetable so we can recognize straight away what kind of vegetable we are dealing with. Like this. Looks quite uh, beautiful. Look, here we have a first strawberry. <laughs> the very first one. So uh, they're recovering after the pollution we gave them with the shit of the chickens. <laughs> for the ones who didn't see it in previous videos. Uh, when we started this garden, I gave every vegetable shit of the chickens but it seemed afterwards that you cannot do that you first have to put uh, the shit of the chickens on a pile and let it dry out for three months we didn't know it we gave it straight away and almost all of the vegetables they got burnt died or whatever so we had to they had to recover and the strawberries they finally seemed to recover all right guys so i'm now at the company where i buy the roofing for the sheep house uh, where I also bought the roofing for the chicken house. Look, they have quite a lot. The plates are on the roof of the car. Let's go!
right guys, we got the sheep house finally fixed. It looks amazing, doesn't it? I'm very glad with the end result and I hope you liked it too. This is also the end of this video once again. I think the video is long enough right now. If you like what we do and what you see here, please give this video a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel because we would appreciate that a lot because we do a lot of effort in these videos to make you enjoy what we do. So if you like what we do here and you want to see more of it, you can watch another video right here. And if you want to make sure to subscribe, you can do that right here. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about Noah's Art Campsite. Adios.